Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and creator of the Facebook Timeline Management Blueprint. And in this video, I'm going to discuss something that is very uh, provocative when it comes to Facebook, and that is the whole topic of selling. But specifically, I'm going to show you how you can set up a very simple uh, sales mechanism where somebody's literally just going to click one button and they can buy from you. And it is via PayPal. And I don't know all the ins and outs of the relationship between Facebook and PayPal. I'm astounded that there isn't a PayPal application button. So maybe there was some conflict of interest along the way. I don't know. However, the good news is there is a way uh, to uh, incorporate PayPal onto Timeline where once you've set up a, a product, uh, you can just go ahead, put it on Timeline, and you don't even have to go onto the back end of PayPal, you know, and do all the setting up a button and getting the code and so on and so forth. It's really, really great. And the organization that we really need to be thankful for for this uh, is Thunderpenny. A couple of guys, great guys out in Seattle, Washington. Uh, we got Tim and Jason, really, really good guys, and they've got a fantastic product. I first came across them um, as I was learning how to set up tabs myself, and as part of uh, an offer that I've got here where I'm actually uh, setting up small business saviors where I teach a number of people to work from home, providing marketing fulfillment services to other companies. And uh, what I wanted to do, I thought this would be a great opportunity opportunity to, sh to set up a, an actual uh, PayPal uh, option on this page and then you can do the same for your own page. So as I said, this is something I'm, I'm just so excited about. I've actually been doing it for about 18 months behind the scenes where I've been mentoring and teaching some people who work at home, exclusively work at home, providing local marketing to other businesses. And uh, I've really just got a thought that, that, that marketers, particularly direct response marketers, are, are business saviors. They can go in there and, and they can turn things around quite quickly, provided they stay true to the whole direct response side of things. So anyway, this is the page. It hasn't been launched yet. I'm very big on creating quite a bit of content before going ahead and launching it. I've been really busy with the timeline management blueprint, but I want to provide the blueprint uh, for some of the uh, small biz saviors. I wanted to say to them, hey, listen, as you go out and get clients, if you're unsure on how to go ahead and manage a page, why don't you just go ahead, get the blueprint, and I'll, e I'll even throw in a, a module to show you how to get customers and, and, and a few other bits and pieces. So this is basically the page we're going to do this. All right, so what I'm going to do to start with is I've got to go ahead and, of course, I've got to post something on here. All right, so what I've decided to do is actually just sort of mention to the uh, small biz saviors when they get to this page that I'm going to... Um, add this module. So all I've said is how to find clients as a complement to the FB Timeline Management Blueprint. Watch this space. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put an image in here and I'll, I'll explain the method behind this madness in just a moment. So gone ahead, clicked this and you can see I have basically put a post on all right. Now what I actually want to do is I want to go ahead and um, create a PayPal button. I might even edit the copy a little bit here just to actually make a mention of the PayPal button. First thing I'll do of course is I want it to be in a prominent position so I go pin to top. Alright so here it is okay and it says uh, watch this space. So now let's get to work. Above uh, the timeline let me just Right, I just had to pause it just so we could have enough space because it will defeat the purpose if you can't actually see this bar here. So what we want to do is we just go ahead and we put static HTML. Now you'll see all sorts of tabs and to my knowledge a lot of them work in different ways. In previous videos I've talked about Woobox, there's a time and place for Woobox but just for now I want to focus on static HTML and Thunderpenny. So we move down here and you can see where it says pages okay and it says app page. All right, about 233,000 likes. Wow, to have 233,000 likes. Hey, so you go ahead, click that, and this will take you to the guy's own fan page. All right, and you see where it says go to app. You click on go to app. 
Now what will then happen is you need to go back to your individual profile in order to access this. So all you do, you just click on your name and then it will bring up this here. So it says static HTML iframe tabs, all right, add static HTML to a page. Now what will happen is you will have a drop down with all the pages and just out of sort of uh, client uh, confidentiality I'm not going to let you sort of see that but you click that that will show all the pages that you have then you choose the page where you want to put the uh, ta application tab. So in my case here you can see I've gone with small business saviors this is where I want to put that and it says add static HTML iframe tabs. Alright so once you've done that you can see uh, you see this I call it the Dallas Cowboy star alright so you actually see that over here and that means that the app has been loaded up alright so you're in good shape there you are ready to go. Now you also see this image this is the image of the photo that we put here okay and I'm gonna come back to this at the very end so just sort of hold that thought for a moment now when you go and you click on you now have a button here which says edit tab and by clicking on the tab you will have all sorts of options and I can't stress this enough they really have a fantastic a compilation of stuff here they really do it's ter terrific but what we're going to do on this occasion is we just want to click on here and then this gives us all the different looks at PayPal okay these are HTML so this is where we would indeed be able to put some coding in here but for now I just want you to go where it says branded free apps go down to here where it says PayPal and click that on up here you're then left with a button that says use PayPal app go ahead and click that alright so now we have the opportunity to go ahead and begin to uh, put some information on there we can brand it with images we can put copy in there so I have got my copy and this is for the timeline management blueprint and we've got a launch offer that will go in here now for the product image it's just down here it's the same one that I used for the post so the image is going to start loading up itself and and again it, this is where you need to really help yourself okay whatever you're selling get an image of it either designed professionally go to fiverr.com uh, but, but just put something in there so we can get the visual aspect of it and here's the copy so I'm going to move this actual default copy that they've got here and I talk a little bit about the blueprint itself and what is available okay so that's all in now you can see uh, and, and listen you'll have to go back and maybe tidy a, a bit of the copy up in case it's sort of out of um, sync but there you go now PayPal address again I'm just gonna move the screen so you don't see it for, for confidentiality purposes alright and then what you have here underneath there you actually have item price now this is the only stickler for people out of the United States like myself um, you can only write your price in US dollars now I have been selling my blueprint to the UK market here in the United Kingdom and uh, it's been for 45 pounds but it, no big deal um, I went to the currency converter and that turns out to be approximately 67 US dollars okay pretty easy alright so once that has all been done back up here uh, and you have the opportunity to preview the tab if you want so let's just go ahead and we can preview it so here you see the image you see the PayPal click here to buy here's the copy product name Facebook timeline okay so I've got to take out product name but you see the Facebook timeline it's all here everything's written down here the bullet points that you get the whole nine yards I just want to go back and edit it a little bit I just take out that product name there we go we save and publish 
and now it says view tab on Facebook so here it is this is the tab itself okay now what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna go here and this is what the welcome is now what we want to do is we want to actually edit this so we just use this arrow here then you'll see a little pencil sort of thing come up here you click that on and edit settings now you can change the wording on there this is so you you must really really test this uh, in the blueprint I talk about this is the, the sort of power line okay where you've just got to do things and, and write things that will make people sort of uh, look and click and get their attention so I'm gonna go special offer $67 it might be a little long yep it's a little long so let me just go special offer I think what I'd done before was I'd written blueprint $67 which is pretty blatant I know but again this is where you've just got to test it blueprint 67 bucks okay now the other thing that I want to do here uh, I've mentioned it before about this image it's a bit of a it's not the most ideal trick in the world but it's one that can work all the same alright when you post an image on timeline it will show in this photos box okay and if you're sort of like me and you, you kind of bootstrap your way around with design and other things like that yeah I've got jing.com which is the one thing that I use literally every day for all sorts of things the size of this thumbnail is 111 times 74 so when you move over there you can just see the there's an arrow 111 and then we move this up to 74 574 okay and then I save that and what I'll do is I will save that and put that in and I go 111 times 74 so while I'm actually on here now what I'm going to do I move that arrow again I find that little pencil I go to edit settings I change the custom tab image it says choose the file here there you see 111 by 74 I just click that on and there it is okay and as I said you can actually play around with the size of the image that you post on your timeline which will in turn allow you to sort of you know even make that look a little bit better but as you can see there I've just got blueprint there and if I refresh the page now what I'm actually going to do I'm going to go into another browser now and I will put it in there so you can see almost as if somebody was visiting that say oh it's not published let me just go back and publish this page alright so let me go back now okay so here the page comes up somebody has visited the page alright they can see the thing that says blueprint sixty seven dollars alright they click on that image it says blueprint for sixty seven dollars there's the image of what I'm selling it says PayPal click here to buy tells you what you get for it you go ahead and you click and here you go it comes up with what you had to actually and then the process is normally the same so I really hope that helped you I, I guess if I was to do one other amendment I would go back to my page here uh, this is another really uh, important thing to remember with the uh, application tabs they do have their own URL okay and what I mean by that is I'm on the page here if I wanted to edit this let's see if it does no it won't. if I wanted to edit it and, and I'll tell you what I'll do I'll, I'll just rewrite it just for the sake of this video so I'll say um, buy the blueprint here you can actually put in that link for the application tab and I would always do that there so I'm just gonna go back and redo it the other thing is I'd probably do is I would shorten this you know I would get a shorten because it, it's a lot 
Facebook small biz savings app this number that number it just doesn't look as good as it could if I just went ahead and shortened it but if I post it you can see it right there all right now I'm over here this is the, 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 the different browser so this is almost as if I'm visiting this as a guest so I see buy the blueprint here all right of course I'll tidy this up a little bit but if I go ahead and I click that that takes me straight to the page so I suppose the only reason I got involved with Facebook at the very beginning um, of timeline was I saw that there were some really legitimate ways of, 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 of selling via timeline you can do it and with PayPal now if you've got a PayPal account and a PayPal product it really is as simple as this you've got to spend time of course get the image right get the copyright but uh, just to recap once again you just go to static HTML at the top of your page okay you will find it up here static HTML Thunderpenny the page uh, it's gonna look something like this you get this information or if everything else fails just go to thunderpenny.com and you'll find the guys and uh, on a final note uh, to Tim and Jason thanks guys you really have put together uh, a great product suite that has not only helped me but it's helping the people I'm trying to help uh, you're always so wonderfully gracious when we speak on Skype uh, from my input that I'm giving you but uh, you'd be absolutely fine without me I know that um, but thank you for that and thanks to everybody else for um, watching this video uh, for all of you out there just go ahead and put a page down there's a time and place to set up a marketing funnel with the email address and then you send them information with view to buy but why not if you've got the opportunity to just put something up there why not just go ahead and do it uh, post your comments let me know how it's worked for you and I look forward to speaking to you again very very soon